Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus and today we're going to be looking at my favourite shortcuts and hotkeys for Adobe Illustrator. This video promises to show you a few shortcuts that you've never seen before and they're definitely going to speed up your workflow. So let's begin with the zoom tool. The zoom tool can be found on the toolbar on the left hand side or by clicking Z on your keyboard. Click and drag to the right will zoom in, click and drag to the left will zoom out. But say you're a little bit like me and you love to have your artboard fit the window correctly. Super easy. Hit Command or Control Zero. If you're looking to zoom in with great precision, then an awesome shortcut is Command or Control Spacebar. Holding those keys, take your mouse and click on the area that you'd like to zoom in on. If you'd like to zoom out using the same method, hit Command, Option, Spacebar and click, or Control, Alt, Spacebar and click. Let's go over some really common shortcuts and hotkeys that you're going to use multiple times during your design sessions. First, let's select our design by heading to the selection tool or by pressing V on the keyboard. Drag a box around your design to select it. Now, we're going to copy that design by hitting Command or Control C. First, we're going to paste that design by hitting Command or Control V. Our next option for pasting is to paste in place by hitting Command or Control B. This will paste a copy behind the design you've selected. And finally, my favorite method, clone. Hold Option or Alt, click your design and drag away to reveal an exact duplicate. Now we have four of the same design. Let's talk about the shortcuts and hotkeys that we can use for color. First, let's change the color of our original design. Click V to bring up the selection tool and click on our design. Next, let's change the color. Head to the color picker on the left hand side and change the color. Now that your original design is a different color, we're going to learn how to use the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool can be found in the tools panel on the left hand side or use the hotkey I on your keyboard. Select your second design that you pasted earlier and click I to access the eyedropper tool. Now, hover over your original design and select. This will change your color from your second design to match the original design. And finally, let's select the design we pasted last. Head to the top and hit select, same, fill and stroke. This will select anything in the artboard that has the same fill and stroke color as the item you've selected. Now that it's selected everything with the same color, let's use the eyedropper tool. So hit I on your keyboard and select one of the logos that we've already changed the color for. I use this tool all the time. For example, when I've got a logo with lots of varying color palettes, but I just need to change one color. This is a fantastic way to just isolate very quickly and make your quick adjustments. Now that's three different ways to change the color of your design in Adobe Illustrator. And finally, let's take a look at some type shortcuts and hotkeys. First, let's talk how to increase and decrease the size of our type. To increase, hit Shift, Command, right angle bracket, or Shift, Control, right angle bracket. This will increase your type by a size of two points. To increase the size by 10 points, hit Shift, Control, Alt, right angle bracket, or Shift, Command, option right angle bracket to decrease the size of your type by two points hit shift control left angle bracket or shift command left angle bracket and to decrease by a size of 10 hit shift control alt left angle bracket or shift command option left angle bracket next let's talk about shortcuts for how we can change the leading Leading is the space between each line of text. This shortcut's nice and simple. So what we're going to do is select our text, hit Alt or Option down arrow key to increase the size of the leading by two points. To decrease the size of the leading, hit Alt or Option up arrow key. Next, let's learn some cool shortcuts for tracking and kerning. Tracking is the amount of space between a group of letters, whereas kerning 
refers to the space between two specific letters. First, let's go ahead and select our type, double click to highlight, and hit Ctrl A to select all of our type. To increase the tracking by 20 points, hit Ctrl, Shift, closed square bracket. To decrease, hit Ctrl, Shift, open square bracket. And to adjust kerning, click away from your selected type and hit T to open the type tool. With the type tool selected, click between two letters that you'd like to adjust the kerning for. Now, use the same commands as we did for tracking. Control, Shift, close square bracket to increase. Control, Shift, open square bracket to decrease. And finally, if you would like to put the kerning or tracking back to default settings, hit Control, Alt, Q, or Command, Alt, Q. As an added bonus, some really cute commands for how to change the alignment of your type. To align your text to the right, hit Shift, Control, R. To align to the center, Shift, Control, C. And you guessed it, to align to the left, Shift, Control, L. And there you have it, a ton of useful shortcuts and hotkeys in Adobe Illustrator to help you increase your workflow. Like and subscribe, and come and visit us on Pixel Surplus for thousands of beautiful fonts. Like the font I used today in my demonstration, Altero by Stefano Gioberti. Link to Altero, as well as Pixel Surplus, will be found in the description below. Thanks and have a great day everyone.